ever wondered what £2,000 worth of Korean groceries looks like? Well, my name's Amber Rose and I own a little Asian grocery store in London. Today is delivery day. Before my delivery arrived, I had a few tasks to do at the shop. I got into the shop today, I had a cake and a coffee because I knew I needed the fuel. Our Royal Mail delivery driver then came to collect all of our parcels that are going to be shipped across the UK. And then I made some boba for my customers in my store. It was about three o'clock and we got a call from the delivery driver who told us that he was outside and he had two big pallets waiting for me. When I saw these pallets, it's fair to say I was intimidated. I didn't have any extra staff on the shop floor, it was just me and my partner working today. So I knew it was gonna be a very long shift. The pallet that you see behind me there literally weighs tons and I'm not joking. It was full of drinks and sauces. So I didn't even bother with that one first. It just lifted the boxes that I knew weren't heavy like crisps and seaweed. The pallet you see here in front of you contains thousands of pounds worth of ramen. This week I was in charge of making the stock orders so I knew exactly what was in those pallets. Even though we trust our suppliers and been working with them for the last year, we always have to make sure we do a thorough stock check and make sure all of the boxes that we've ordered have arrived because nearly every single time we've had a delivery something is out of stock. I'm not blaming our suppliers because they're great, but things just happen. We're all human. Not sure if you caught that, but I literally nearly fell to my death. So when I'm dealing with a massive, overwhelming delivery like this, I just have to break up the tasks into small sections. So in this delivery, we had a small amount of frozen products and a small amount of chilled products. I quickly put away our frozen products so I didn't get that on camera. And our chilled products for this week were kimchi, so I got them in the fridge straight away. And then I proceeded to fill up the drinks fridge. If you've been here for a while, you know about this drinks fridge. It takes me ages to restock it. There's so many varieties of drinks. It's so satisfying when it's done, but it is a long, long task. So here I'm filling up drinks like Pokari Sweat, which is an electrolyte drink, kind of similar to an energy drink, a few Korean staples and much more. In my previous video, a lot of people in my comment section were concerned about FIFO. And I'm trying not to take offense to the fact that people actually think I don't practice FIFO and I literally own a grocery store. But I'd say 80% of our products have a very long shelf life. And most of the time we bulk buy, so we can't actually put all of the stock that we buy on the shop floor as there's not enough space. So as long as the products have the exact same expiry, we're happy to stack on top of each other. Now my fridge is is finally restocked. It took me a good few hours, but I'm very happy with the result. I then did a light restock of some sauces that we had in the delivery. I then chugged a quick mogu mogu because I just needed the energy boost. But the task didn't end there and I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't feeling up to it today. I'll see you tomorrow.